Hey guys, it's Heather from Calva Plan, and today I am kicking off a brand new series for my channel called How To Plan. In this series, I am going to be breaking down how to plan different areas in your life, like how to plan your budget, how to plan your business, how to plan your faith, how to plan your fitness, how to plan just different areas of your life, how to plan different areas. But before we get down into the different areas, I wanted to start this series with how to plan in a decorative planner. Pretty simple uh, concept, but it's something that a lot of people don't understand. A lot of people look at a paper planner with all of my stickers and washi and they're like, what are you doing? Why are you doing that? How do I do it? So this video, I really want it to be like how to plan in a decorative planner. And it's gonna kick off our series and then the rest of the videos in the series will be a little more specific on how to plan different aspects in your life. But today we're starting off with the general how to plan in your decorative planner. So I pulled out some pages from a planner that I'm not using anymore. And I'm basically gonna make a fake spread to teach you guys how to do before the pen with the stickers. And then I'm gonna show you how to fill it in with a pen as well. So how to use a decorative planner. The purpose of a decorative planner is really to have, I guess there's not really like one set purpose, but a decorative planner helps you to have a creative space. The decoration is what brings me back to my planner because I enjoy decorating it. I enjoy filling it out. And so it's what has helped me to commit to a planner. It's, it's a place to be creative, <coughs> excuse me. And it's just really, really fun. It's just a fun thing to do. You don't have to use stickers and washi to plan. Pretty, pretty much the rest of my videos you, will be more about just how to plan certain things. There will be decorative aspects to it, but this video is just like how to decorative plan and how to use your planner once you've decorated it. So we are going to start, this is going to be a fake week um, with fake plans because I just want to show you guys how to do it. So I've pulled out a sticker book. This is one of my favorites. It's the Year to Shine sticker book. And the first thing that you do when you decorate a plan, some people don't do it this way. If you don't do it my way, it is totally fine. But I do what's called a before the pen spread. And I decorate my planner first and then I fill it in with a pen. I have a video um, that explains why before the pen works best for me. I'll link it in the description so that you can check it out. But some people fill in their planner and then they decorate it and that's fine too. Just you kind of have to figure out what works best for you. But I personally, decorate first so I thought it would be fun to do kind of like a different shades of blue um, spread so I'm gonna start I'm actually gonna take this sticker and I'm gonna cut it so that I have two and then I'm gonna take this habit tracker and I actually do want to put my habit tracker over here and then I'm gonna take this sticker whoops got stuff falling everywhere and I'm gonna put this today sticker over here on Sunday now when you're decorative planning I like to have balance so if I put something on this side of the page I put something on this side of the page as well and I put it in opposite places so like here I didn't put this habit tracker down here because then it would have been the same patterns like in a box I like to space it out um, then I'm going to take this really pretty blue and I'm just going to put it here and I like to use these boxes as like headers. So I'm basically going to flip through and look for different stickers that kind of coordinate with the ones that I've put up so far. So here's an appointment sticker, kind of angle it out of the box. You don't have to put it perfectly in the box. Sometimes it's fun to kind of angle it like that. Um, and then I'm going to put another appointment sticker over here because again, if I put something over here, I like to put it over here, but I like to balance it. I'm going to grab this today sticker, put it there. Now, since I have this today sticker, I'm gonna want another today sticker over here. And I think I'm gonna put it up here. Okay. 
again, creating that balance. Here we have a good checklist sticker that is the right colors. So I'm gonna put it over here. Now, if I had another checklist sticker, I would definitely put it probably here, but I don't have one on this page that matches, so I'm gonna keep looking. These are good box stickers. So I'm gonna put this box sticker here. And I'm gonna put this box sticker over here that creates that balanced look. This is a little too boxy for me with them being right next to each other. I wish I could move it over, but this is an appointment sticker. And a lot of times you can't just change your appointment to another day. This is a fake spread that I'm doing. So that's one reason I'm gonna leave it. This one says it's not about having time, it's about making time, which is actually kind of perfect for this spread because that's like basically the theme of planning. That looks really cute there. Here we have an important sticker, so I'm going to put it here. I see a lot of stickers that I want to use, so that's why I'm like sticking my fingers in here. I'm looking for another checklist sticker, but it looks like I've used, oh this could be a good one. This one could work. So originally, earlier I said I would put the checklist sticker here, but now I have a box there. So I'm gonna put it over here. This is actually a really cute spread so far. Okay, and then I can just use these as like little bullet points. Okay, so that is kind of just like a quick rundown of how decorative plan I do do I do do <laughs> uh, I do create spreads in my classic happy planner every single Sunday so if you watch this and you're like okay that was really fast I got a few tips on how to do this but I'm still not exactly sure be sure to come back every Sunday um, to check out my classic plan with me because I think that that will help you to get the hang of it so now once you have your planner decorated it can be kind of overwhelming to actually fill it in. So I'm gonna kind of walk you guys through how I fill out my planner. And I'm just gonna pull two markers that I like to use. Um, and I personally go through and I ask myself 10 questions. And every single week I don't necessarily answer every single question in my planner, but I at least ask myself the question. And I have a video on these 10 questions, so I will link that in the description as well. But I'm gonna go through the 10 questions and show you how to now fill in your planner once you have it decorated. And these 10 questions will also help you to fill in your planner if you're someone who's like, I don't live a busy life, um, I don't have anything to write on my planner, I think this video will actually um, change your mind a little bit. So first question is, what big events do I have this week? So for this planner, I would say my big events are probably the appointments and then whatever else I fill in. So I'm gonna put, um, let's say I have a dentist appointment on this day. I don't, I don't have a dentist appointment. I need to make one, but I'm still kind of nervous to go back to the dentist right now with COVID. But let's say that I have one, okay? 
And then here, let's say I have a haircut. Again, I don't have a haircut on this day, but just to show you guys. Haircut, where my hairstylist is in Fort Worth. And let's say it's at 11 o'clock. Okay, and then technically, this really is my birthday. I'm not lying about this one. Um, so that's a pretty big event. And I actually have a twin sister, so it's both of our birthday. Holly and Mai's birthday. Mai's birthday? I don't even know if that's how you would say that. I don't know. Okay, and then church. This is actually um, when our church is going back to in the building, but we are still, we're not quite ready to go back but I can go ahead and at least write it. First day back in person. Okay, then I could put Hill birthday lunch. at 12 o'clock. All right, so those are my big things for the week. My second question is what do I need to achieve this week? So what are like different goals for the week, different things that I need to get done. So like I could say here, um, pre-orders for July shirt. That needs to happen on Monday. Um, here, I have we have a boutique release on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So that is something that I need to achieve this week. Okay, so some other things that I need to achieve this week. Um, and honestly, this might be a question because this is still several weeks away. And I said this was fake plans and here I am trying to put in real plans. So other things that I might be a need to achieve, like, um, I don't know, just whatever your weekly goals are. Some weeks you may not have a lot. So the next question is where can I schedule in fun? Where can I do fun things? So. On my birthday, that should definitely be a fun day. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna have a pool day. With Holly. And Maddie. Okay, here. I'm gonna put birthday dinner. Um, here I'm gonna put date night with Matthew, even though most of our date nights have been at home lately. We do try to do that on Friday nights. So date night with All right, my next question is what are we gonna eat? I hate that question. I hate meal planning. I hate it so much. So 
I don't always write this in my planner, um, but you could just add it over here. So I could write dinner. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Or you could write it like at the bottom of every day. But then I could just fill this in. So I could say like, we're gonna grill hamburgers. We're gonna have Alfredo. We're gonna order Mexican for my birthday. We're gonna have pizza night on Friday. We're gonna order takeout on Saturday. On Thursday, we could do, I don't know, I just need to make something up. <laughs> Tacos. And on Sunday, we're gonna do mm, steaks. Okay, dinner. That is an important question every week. And you could put it, again, you could put it over here. You could put it at the bottom of every day. You could not put it in your planner and just, it's up to you. My next question is chores. When am I gonna do chores? So, Monday's usually my filming day. So let's say that I'm gonna do chores on Friday. I'm gonna clean my office. I'm gonna clean the bathroom. I'm gonna clean the kitchen, the vacuum, and I'm gonna clean our bedroom. Okay, and then let's just go ahead and say that we're also gonna do chores on this day, even though Monday is normally a filming day. And maybe here we're gonna do laundry Clean the guest room. Clean the boutique. Sweep the patio. Okay, now I have my chores. Next is bills. What bills do I need to pay? Which I do pay bills this week. So I could put that maybe over here. And I could say Spectrum. Atmos, car loan, and phone. Okay, put my bills in. Next question is usually like, what days am I gonna stay home versus what days am I gonna go out? Now, I don't really go out much anymore because of COVID. But like chores or like errands. Errands would be a really good example. So like on Sunday, this would be a good spot for me to write errands. We're already going to be going to my in-laws this day. So it would be a good day to just run errands. So I'll go to Costco and I can make my list. I'll go to Target and I make my list. Like here could be toilet paper water, plates, and paper towels, Target, groceries, shampoo, sunscreen, toothpaste, Okay, so that just helps me. The, the staying home versus going out was kind of more effective when I actually went places, but now I just stay home. So the next question is self-care. What am I gonna do this week um, for self-care? So one thing that I'm doing is writing my Peloton. So that's what I wanna use this habit tracker for. Um, I could also, let's go ahead and put boutique release nine o'clock on these so 
so for this week I'm just gonna put Peloton for my self care but this but I'll honestly I'll probably do a manicure too so let's just go ahead and put um, redo your manicure that's self care okay next question is free time what do I want out of my free time like if when I have free time how do I want to spend it so one thing could be like read on Monday also I'm gonna, that's my filming day so I'm just gonna put filming day over here um, make time to read okay and then the last question that I kind of asked myself is how can I prepare for next week? What are some things that I could go ahead and be doing this week to help me prepare for next week so that next week isn't as crazy? And since this is a fake spread, I don't know um, exactly what the next week would look like, but I could do things like make a packing list because I am going to the beach the next week. Um, take boutique photos that would help me to prepare for the next week now I still have a few spots that are open but I can just fill those in as the week goes on this at least gives me like a pretty good overview of what my week is gonna look like and just asking those 10 questions most of my week is now filled out so I hope this video gave you just a really good idea on how to decorate your decorative planner and how to fill it in, how to make it really productive for you. I will link the video in the description for those 10 questions so that you can check that out a little bit more. I hope you come back to watch future videos in this series. If you have a request for what kind of video you'd like to see in this series, what you want me to teach you how to plan, um, you can drop that in the description I know or in the comments I know that tomorrow will be how to plan your budget and then the series will just grow from there so if there's a certain area of your life that you want me to talk about planning drop it in the comments and yeah I hope you like this video if you liked it I hope you hit the like button if you want to see more of my videos be sure to hit that subscribe button and happy planning mm -hmm.